Hello, my name is Dr. Hamad. Uh, today we will talk about the definitive airway. Uh, we want to tell you that uh, definitive airway has two categories. One is a RSI, which is called rapid sequence intubation, which uses the drugs. And the other one is emergent intubation, which is called crash intubation, which in which we will not use any drug. The crash intubation uses in the critical patients or in emergent situations or in the, during CPR. Otherwise, the RSI is used is actually according to the case-to-case -case basis whenever we need to intubate the patient. In RSI or in emergent uh, intubation, we need to prepare certain things. In which there is a rule which is called lemon, in which we have to look at the patient, then evaluate 332 rule. And what is this 332 rule? I'll show you in the mannequin that three fingers between the incisors, we have to check the open, ask the patient to open the mouth and put like this, three, is the between the incisors, three fingers. Then three fingers between the mentohyoid region. This is the mentum and this is the hyoid. So three fingers like this and two, base of the uh, floor of the mouth to the thyroid cartilage. So it's three, three, and two. This is called three, three, two rule. After that, we have a melampathy score, which has a four grades. And the grade three and four is, uh, is having a difficult intubation categories. Then observe, uh, observation, and after that is the neck circumference which is actually the neck thickness and the neck movement. We have to look and evaluate the dentures inside the mouth. We have to see either is the beard or not in the face and we have to see uh, how much is the neck mobility. So before that, we want to, I want to show that what equipment should we have to use in intubation either in RSI or in emergent situations. First of all, we have to check and think this is the laryngoscope Macintosh. This is the handle and this is the blade. We have to fix it and see the bulb should work nicely. We should have a syringe. We should have uh, ET tubes of different sizes. We should have a supraglottic airway device. One of them is a LMA and the other one is eye gel. We should have a stilet. And we should also prepare the difficult intubation situations in which the surgical uh, clinical thyroidotomy. We should have a large bore 16 gauge cannula in adults or 12 to 14 gauge cannula in children if we are uh, expecting in any difficult intubation or uh, prepare for that uh, for, and it will be used in the surgical kirikothyroid, needle kirikothyroidotomy and afterwards the surgical kirikothyroidotomy. And this is the ammo bag of course which we use. So, so I would like to tell you one thing, if the patient is too much obese, so we want to tell, we would like to tell you one thing, if the patient is too much obese, this is supposed to be tummy and this is supposed to the patient neck. The neck of the position should be the sniffing position. The sniffing position means the chin should be flex uh, and neck should be extended. So, and this ear level should be on the chest level. In this case, it is not appropriate. It is right now here. It should be here. So what we will do, we have to lift the head and neck and put some sheet or pillow or whatever to make the position that this level of the ear should be the chest level so that oropharyngeal airway and angle will be straight like that okay and this position we have to intubate because this should be the neck position in this position if you will intubate so we will easily intubate and we will see like this so we would like to tell you one thing we have to prepare the medicines which are the anesthetic medicines and induction medicines 
in the RSI should be used and it is depending upon the case to case basis. We have three to four medicines which we commonly used. The uh, induction medicines are the ketamine, propofol, etomidate and the anesthetic medicines are sexamethonium, rocuronium and etrocurium. And it depends upon the case to case basis what we used to. Adjuvant drugs should be prepared preemptively which include atropine and which should be included lidocaine and also the fentanyl. The technique of the intubation is actually that you have, if you are right handed, place in the left handed, just open the mouth like that in a stiffing position and to the blade like this and lift forward and upward. You can see the epiglottis and the vocal cords and the glottis. There is a classification which is called Cormac and Lehan classification in which there are four grades of the laryngoscopy. One and two are graded as easy intubation, three and four are graded as difficult intubation. One and two we have glottis properly seen and two is actually partially glottis seen. Three in which only the epiglottis seen and four neither epiglottis or part of the glottis seen. So once we enter inside the mouth and we can see according to the grades We will take the tube, the tube sizes in the female and males, it depends. Females usually we use 7 to 7.5 and in males 8 to 8.5. We, we can use the stilet or we can we put like that. The important thing is how much we have to enter inside the trachea. The answer is once you stop seeing the uh, in, in, inflation part of the tube, you proceed further 1 to 2 cm inside the trachea. Then you inflate it, the balloon you tie it or fix it better then you attach the ETCO2, you remove it, you attach the ammo bag, you attach with the oxygen from here and you can see the chest is rising. And you can see here is an ETCU detector which has a three colors blue, green and yellow. And also should be connected with the capnography as well. And then we have to connect it to the ventilator settings accordingly. If, suppose, if we try to pass this tube two times failed, then it will be labeled as fail to ventilate. Then we have to give oxygen and for ammo bagging as well for three minutes. After that, we will try the plan B, which is the LMA. We have to insert it LMA like that. If it is passed, it will be again connected to the ambu bag for the time being. And if LMA will not work, the plan C is again ambu bag. 
give oxygen. The plan C is the cricothyroidotomy. The cricothyroidotomy has two categories. One is middle cricothyroidotomy and the surgical cricothyroidotomy. In middle cricothyroidotomy, the position of the induce uh, of the of the doctor or the performer would be on the left side if he is a right-handed person and he will hold the thyroid cartilage and the thyroid uh, cricoid cartilage in between the thyroid and uh, thyroid cricoid cartilage there is a cricothyroid membrane and over there you have to insert it with a 45 degree angle which we talk later uh, in another video. Thank you very much.